Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and this is the last video in our 2023 external exams for Queensland for general mathematics. It's question seven from paper two, a complex question on financial mathematics. I really hope you've enjoyed this series. Now, if you'd like to engage with us further, I just wanna go through a few little quick things with you here. You could like and subscribe and um, hit that notifications button so you always know when the next video is coming out and why not consider super like? Look for the dot, dot, dots near the liking and subscribing. That's a way that you can give back a dollar or two to thank us for the hard work we do on your behalf. You could tell someone about this video. Why not tell us in the comments what you thought of it? Or even consider sharing it on your class one note page or sharing the link with a friend. And follow us on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, let's get right into question seven. I know you're busting to get there. It's worth five marks. Five years ago, a retiree invested $100,000 in a compound interest account earning 3.8% per annum compounding monthly. They now intend to use the balance of the account to begin a perpetuity that will return 4% per annum compounding annually and pay them $6,000 per year. Provide some advice to the retiree about whether their compound interest investment is large enough to finance the perpetuity. So we've got two parts to this investment. We've got the initial investment and then we've got what they've invested that investment in. So two parts we need to work out separately. So our first step is to work out how much is this $100,000 that they invested five years ago worth now after those five years of investing. So let's state our variables to begin with. We've got the um, principal that we put in, the beginning amount was $100,000. $100, our interest rate is compounded monthly, so we need to divide that by 12, and that will give us 0 0.00316, and 6 has a little dot on top, which means it's repeated into infinity. Okay, the next part is our value for N. N is five years at 12 months of compounding per um, period, so that makes 60 periods altogether. And now we need to choose an appropriate formula. So let's have a quick look at our formula sheet. We've got a lot of choices on here for finance. We're told it's a compound interest account. There's nothing special about it. It's not a annuity of any kind. It's just compound interest, which means it's this simple formula here. So let's put our variables into that formula. So there's our formula there. Let's substitute in. And we get our first mark for the question for correctly substituting into the right rule. So there's two parts to this mark. You had to pick the right rule and you had to put the right variables into it. So that's these variables here that we worked out correctly. Okay, we work out now that our investment is now worth today $120,888.66. So this is what we're going to use to set up the perpetuity. So we've worked out that balance. We've got a second mark. Woohoo! Okay, we're almost halfway there. Now, we know our formula, um, this is what we're going to be investing into the perpetuity. We can work out if it's going to deliver this payment of $6,000. So we've got this formula here, M equals A times I. And we're told that this perpetuity is going to have an interest rate of 4% compounded annually. So I is just simply going to be 0.04. So if we take this amount here and multiply that by 0.04, we're going to work out exactly what kind of payment this um, perpetuity is going to deliver. So this um, correct substitution into an appropriate rule, um, which is one that we had to memorize. After 2025, you won't have to memorize that anymore. Um, so that's wonderful news for the future people. We get our first mark there and we work out that the payment is actually going to be $4,835.55, which is not what they're hoping it's going to pay them. They're hoping for much more than that. Um, now, you'll notice here, allows a comparison of values. Now, I should note that on the QCAA's website, they have two other ways of actually coming at this problem. So this, this is a kind of problem that you can get to in a variety of different ways. You could start with the perpetuity, work back to the compound interest. Um, one of the solutions the QCAA has come up with is they've actually um, worked out what balance you needed to deliver $6,000. So they've done it slightly different to me. Um, this is how I intuitively I felt to do it. But notice on the QCAA's marking sheet that they, because they've allowed um, a comparison of values, I still get the mark, even though I got there a different way. This is why communication is so important, explaining your steps of working. Okay, now here, I've actually worked out it's not going to work, and now is where I'm up to providing the advice. So what I'm going to say is the compound interest investment is not large enough to finance the perpetuity, because 4835 and 55 cents is less than $6,000, and there's a shortfall of $11,000. 
sorry, $1,164.45. That explanation there is enough to give me that final mark determining if the compound interest investment is enough to finance the perpetuity. Now, like I said, I could have gone around this a different way. What I could have done is substituted into this formula, 6,000 equals something times by 0.04. I could have rearranged this and worked out the value that I needed to achieve $6,000 and discovered that that was much more than this one here. And if I'd gone with that different method, I would have still earned the marks had I done it correctly. So just remember, sometimes there's more than one way to solve a problem. Um, always come at it though with great communication so that you will always make sure that your um, method is explained to the marker. Now, don't forget to engage with us um, further. We shared some of those ways at the beginning of the video, liking and subscribing, super like, um, sharing the video, telling us in the comments. But if you've got any questions at all, the best place to ask those questions is via email, mcclutchymass at yahoo.com. Don't forget to jump onto our partner's website, exam-insights.com. This is your one-stop shop for all of the 2023 and previous year's exams and exam solutions. It's a wonderful free resource for students and teachers. Well, thank you again for watching this series. I hope you found it super helpful. Um, tune in to us um, later. We're going to be continuing with more videos um, on different strands of mathematics as we go through. Best of luck for your upcoming external exams. Have an amazing day.